Howdy campers and welcome to your 12th REST API tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can handle put requests. Okay then, so when do we use a put request? We use it to update existing data already in the database. So we might have a ninja stored and we want to update the name of that ninja. We'd use a put request to do that. So it's going to be set up quite similar to the delete request in that we're using the same route where we pass along this uh, request parameter and that request parameter is going to be the unique ID of the ninja that the client wants to update, right? So we're going to pass that through here. Then we're going to use a function similar to this find by ID and remove to find and update that ninja. So let's copy this and paste it in this one, the put request. But instead of find by ID and remove, it's find by ID and update. So this is going to stay the same because we're still looking for the ID that they pass along as the request parameter right here. So we're going to find that. Then we want to update it with something. And what we want to update it with is going to be the second argument in this update function right here. We need to pass it in. What are we passing in exactly? Well, when we perform a put request, we send some data in the request body. So say, for example, I want to update the name of something to whoop. OK, I'd send that JSON in the request body and then it's going to look for this record, this ninja and update its name property to whoop. Right. I could pass in two parameters here. I could pass in the name and the rank and it's going to update then both properties, name and rank to this ninja right here. OK, let's change this to something a bit better because whoop is pretty crappy. Let's change it to crystal. OK. And then we need to access that request body data and we can do that using request.body. Remember, we covered this in an earlier tutorial. So we're going to find this ninja by the ID they passed in. We're going to update it using this request body, which is the parameters we're specifying right here. And then we want to fire a function. OK, so once this is complete, we want to take that ninja, which is updated and send it back to the client. So let's grab this thing right here and send it to the client. We'll send the ninja back in here instead of that object and then save. So what do you think is going to happen here? We're going to send this to the server. In fact, before I do that, I want to get the correct unique ID. So currently we have an object with a name of Yoshi. So we're changing from Yoshi to Crystal. Let's grab this unique ID. I'm going to edit document and I'm going to grab this thing right here. Close this off and paste it in here. I think it's the same, but just in case. There we go. So if we send this now, hopefully it's going to update that ninja to the name of Crystal and it's going to return that updated ninja to us right here. So let's send this and see what happens. OK, there we go. Sent and we still get the name of Yoshi sent back to us. So what is going on? Well, if we take a look at RoboMongo and refresh this, we can see inside this object right here, the name has updated to Crystal. So it's worked, but it's sending us the old version. So why is that? Well, when it performs this um, method right here, we get the kind of outdated ninja, the pre updated one, if you like and we're sending that back. We don't really want that. So instead of doing that, what we're going to do is delete that there and we're still going to fire something in here. What we're going to do is find that ninja again. So once this update has been completed, we're going to go out to the database and we're going to refind the ninja, the updated ninja, and then send that back. Make sense? So we can do that using another mongoose method called find one. This is going to find one record in the database. And again, we want to pass through this thing because we're still looking for the same ID. Then when it's done that, we're going to fire a callback function, this time taking the updated ninja. And this time we're going to respond with this updated ninja in here. Make sense? OK, so let's see if this works. I'm going to save that and head over here again. This time, let's change it to Ryu. So currently it's Crystal. Now we want to change it to Ryu and we expect to see the updated object here with the name Ryu this time around. So let's send it again. Scroll down and ta-da, we get Ryu. Awesome. So there we go. That is how we perform put requests and how we handle put requests in our API. And let's just go to RoboMongo and make sure this has updated. And yet we can see Ryu is the name. 
So in the next tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to geolocation, which we're going to use for our ninjas and our get request later on.